Hi, I'm Mark Morris, technical rep with Prisco. We're here today to talk about viscosity and how it relates to aqueous coating. Aqueous coating today is used to enhance the printed piece. Everybody uses aqueous coating, but to get the most out of your coating, it's got to be in spec. And one of those specs is viscosity. So how do you check viscosity in your coating? Number one, you have to make sure the temperature of the coating is correct. I use a perometer. You can measure the coating. This particular coating is 75 degrees, which is pretty close to where it needs to be. Then you use a number three easy Zon cup. To do that, you need a stopwatch. You dip your Zon cup into your coating. When you pull it out, you start your stopwatch. And as you can see, the coating is coming out in a nice thick stream. But when it starts to break about a quarter inch from the cup, you take your reading with your stopwatch. In this case, it's 15 seconds, which is just where it needs to be. So what do you do if the coating's too thick? Number one, you gotta make sure that the coating is at room temperature or press temperature. So make sure you put it on your press, let it recirculate for about 15 minutes until it gets to the proper temperature. Then go ahead and take a viscosity reading. If it's too thick, we recommend using a 50% water, 50% alcohol mix to reduce the coating. Uh, one gallon of that mixture will reduce a whole drum of coating five to seven seconds. Some common mistakes that are made in the press room concerning coating, especially in the winter time, they'll bring a drum of coating to the press at 60 degrees and they'll throw it on press without checking the viscosity or the temperature. They might end up running 10,000 sheets and the coating is out of spec. Uh, they might have some drying issues at that time and wonder what's going on. So make sure that when you bring a drum of coating to the press room, that you let it acclimate to temperature before you make any kind of adjustments or put it on press. Another mistake that's made is they'll bring a drum of coating out to the press, it might be 60 degrees, and they'll go ahead and reduce the viscosity while it's 60 degrees. Then they'll put it on press, it'll heat up to 75 degrees or so, and then the coating's too thin. And once the coating's too thin, you're gonna have all kinds of problems. So make sure that you get the coating to temperature before you make any kind of viscosity adjustments. So if you want your aqueous coating to enhance the printed product, please make sure that the coating's viscosity and temperature are both correct. If you have any other questions concerning Prisco products or Prisco coatings, please contact your local Prisco sales rep or your local Prisco tech rep, and they'll be happy to answer any questions you might have.